Hi Kyugis enthusiasts, Nico Aleph from Adisoft. In this quick video I will show you how to make a raster image uh, grayscale, black and white and uh, also how to optimize its resolution. Let's start. We have uh, our topographic map here but uh, it is uh, imported with regular settings, you can see it's uh, with colors and uh, so on. I would prefer it to be black and white so I go to the settings by double clicking the image. You can see here the colors and uh, you can see also the type of uh, rendering. In this case I will choose single band gray and you can see the result. This is absolutely um, very dark which I don't like. That's one option. Some, uh, sometimes it will be a good option but in this case not. So in this case I would simply go to grayscale, I would turn it on from here and uh, you have several options by lightness, by luminosity or by average. I usually choose by lightness but you can experiment by luminosity it seems that the contrast is... by luminosity in this case I, th I like the contrast more, I'm looking at the letters here. And also you can brighten it up a little bit if you uh, prefer it to be more white than black and uh, also increase the contrast from here. Saturation is turned off because uh, obviously it's black and white. And uh, as for resampling it depends on the coordinate system. If you use a degree coordinate system usually cubic or bilinear is better but in this case it's metric so I would uh, choose nearest neighbor and finally in transparency you can add uh, some tra uh, transparency obvious from this slider and uh, another thing is this no data value this will assign a color to all the pixels where the raster image has no data I will show you so let's click OK of course and uh, let's turn this off and you see what I mean. Uh, every raster you georeference has a rectangular boundary which marks the extent of the raster and uh, you can uh, specify the node data by going to node data value and uh, in this case it is 255, this is black and uh, you just uh, specify the color you, you would like. A custom transparency options, you can go from here, from this one. It is automatically selected, I will remove the first one. And now it will be transparent if I click apply. That is another way to do it, which in this case it's the same, but uh, by doing uh, custom transparency options you can exclude some specific colors from the map and that's very useful as well pyramids is used for optimizing the viewing of the image at close range so when zooming it uh, will load only part of the map by adding these pyramids but uh, it will modify the original file you create a separate file with pyramids so in this case I will not use it and uh, that's it. So thanks for watching, this is a quick video but uh, very useful when loading raster files, especially topographic maps, satellite images and so on. It's Nicole Aleph wishing you most importantly health, inspiration and uh, keep up the good work in your practice. Post your questions below, I will answer them as soon as possible and don't forget to like, share the video if it was useful for you and support our channel dedicated to helping you improve your GIS practice and architecture work. See you in the next video.